medical records department in a healthcare facility. So uh, medical records department, the work which is not recorded is not done, stands true in case of hospitals also. So the medical records uh, records are prepared by the doctors and nurses and it is maintained by the medical records department relating to the care which is rendered to the patient. The basic purpose of establishing a medical records department is to provide service to the patient, medical staff and hospital administration in support of a good medical care. So purpose and scope of uh, the medical records department to the patient. So it will uh, help to improve the patient care. It is a written document in support of whatever care which has been rendered to the uh, patient on scientific basis. So this uh, record will have the history uh, of the patient's illness and also the clinical uh, story of the patient in the hospital. So it's uh, it uh, helps in avoiding omissions and repetitions of the same investigation. Uh, it will ensure a continuity of medical care and it is also used as an evidence in the court of law and provides compensation in case of any disability. So uh, if it helps the patient for certain medical sickness certificate, uh, insurances, uh, sickness, sickness and disability benefits, etc. For the clinicians, how the MRD helps. So it will help in planning the treatment modality for the patient, quality assurance, quality assurance of continuity of care and evaluation of the medical practice. It will help in continuing the medical education and research, protection of the clinician in event of a legal dispute. Uh, to the hospital administration, the type and quality of uh, work undertaken by the uh, medical staff in a hospital, the quality of care which is given to their patients through by the medical staff, uh, it will help to evaluate the performance of the clinicians, evaluate the services of the hospital, and also help to uh, understand where uh, extension of the facilities or new uh, facilities has to be brought in into the hospital. To the public health authorities, it will help in understanding the prevalence of a rate of the prevalence rate of a disease, incidence rate of the disease, mortality, morbidity, disability rates, death rate pertaining to certain diseases. Uh, in case of medical education and research, um, Various epidemiological studies like case control study, cohort studies, etc., cannot be conducted uh, without the support of a hospital records department. So the results of any clinical trials are heavily dependent on a meticulously maintained uh, medical records department. So medical legal importance of the uh, medical medical records. So it should be meticulously written, and all the details should be written in a lucid manner and. Uh, it should have the following features. It should be complete in all aspects. It should provide adequate information in respect to the uh, medical care rendered to the patient. Uh, whatever guy, uh, whatever, whatever is the clinical story of the patient within that hospital admission uh, days, it should be mentioned here. Uh, information must be accurate. It should not be based on any presumptions or assumptions of the uh, clinicians. It should be uh, factual. Whatever information is written in the medical records, it should be factual and accurate. It should be legible and the document must be signed by the concerned clinicians. MRD process. So from the OPD, casualty, labor room, and the inpatient wards, uh, the, the medical record processing will start uh, through, uh, at the central admission office. And from there, it will go to the inpatient ward. If the patients are admitted to the inpatient ward, the admission will take place here. And uh, regularly on day-to-day -day basis, medical records will be filled up. And it, after discharge, it will be sent into the uh, medical records department where the first player was first phase is assembly to check that all the records are following a certain orders. For example, uh, the, uh, on the date of admission, what were the examinations done, the, uh, uh, investigations done, uh, then care taken, then the uh, discharge summary at the last, so, so and so. So a certain order is fo uh, followed in hospital. So assembly will ensure that uh, the same standard order is followed everywhere. Then checking, uh, we'll check for the completeness of the uh, of the record. If at all the record is incomplete, it will send back to the ward. If it is complete coding, it will be sent for further coding based on the international classification of diseases. And indexing, indexing is done, either alphabetical or according to the department wise, whatever is the protocol of the hospital, indexing will be done. Then filing is done, it is, it is put back into the shelves 
and then it, it will be retrie retrieved as and when required. There are a retrieval process. In certain cases, only the medical records will be retrieved. And then reporting is done uh, for under the notification uh, Notifiable Diseases Act. What all disease has to be reported, that reported reporting will be done. The death reports, the morbidity reports, disease rate, everything will be sent to the respective uh, law enforcement agencies, etc. So these are the other functions coming under the medical records office from assembly to reporting and retrieval. So retention of medical records. Um, the OP hospital to hospital, it will depend from hospital to hospital, depending if it is a teaching hospital or a research facility. Usually OPD records will be kept for five years. Inpatient records will be kept for 10 years and medical record records should be kept permanently. Coding. Coding of the diseases is done, by, uh, done as per the international classification of diseases for making national and international comparison. It, it makes sure that the diseases are uh, coded in a uniform manner across the world. So it is easy to exchange the information from one country to another country. This brings this is to bring uniformity in the classification of diseases. For example, here you can see uh, uh, how what is the code given to a fracture. Uh, for a hand uh, hand fracture, but hand uh, left arm fracture is what we use in a common man's term. But when it comes into the international coding, each section, uh, each uh, each alphabets and each number used in the international coding has a certain meaning to it. S44 uh, uh, is a category which will be uh, guiding towards all the displaced transfers fracture okay uh, and uh, three is uh, is mentioning that it's a, it's a fracture which took place in the humerus bone then two uh, will be the location where in the humerus bone the fracture took place for example it was in the shaft one was it the right arm left arm or uh, which uh, um, frontal area ex uh, lateral area mid arm etc that will be displayed by this one a uh, extension is, an, is, is it a closed fracture, open fracture, whatever that is, different types of fracture okay, that will come under this classification. So this is uh, this is very a standard format uh, used just an example of how international coding is done. There are courses for international coding also. Then indexing. Uh, indexing means. Uh, the various method of indexing, indexing uh, used here are, for example, first is alphabetical indexing according to the patient's name. If the patient's name starts from A, all the patient's name which starts from A will be indexed first. Then accordingly, you will follow alphabetical order. Then uh, another type of indexing is disease index. The patients having the same diagnosis, okay, all those uh, diagnoses patients categorized with the same diagnosis will be kept together in the medical records department and unit indexing uh, depending upon the how many units the hospital has for example neurological unit ortho unit gynecological unit depending upon how many units the hospital has and how many patients they have the unit have rendered their care accordingly uh, unit wise uh, indexing will be done physicians index it depends upon the treating uh, treating physician physician under the treating physician which all patients were cared for uh, those will be coming under the treating uh, phys physicians index operation index uh, details of patients who have undergone the surgery are indexed together you know, the same surgery patients will be indexed together Storage and retrieval of uh, medical records. Uh, storage should be compact. Uh, it should not take up too much of space in the medical records department. It should be easily accessible. Uh, the, there should be no mixing up. Simplicity for understanding the people who are working in the uh, medical records department. It is, is It should be the sequence of indexing should be easier for them to understand. Elasticity for elasticity for expansion. There should there should also be a room room for expansion uh, in the medical records department should be economical, uh, cost-effective uh, qualities for classification and indexing and filing and storage should be put into place, easily retrievable for further visits and etc. And safe from fire, moth, insects, dampness, dust, etc. So that uh, longevity of the medical records can be uh, increased. Controllability, any loss, theft, any duplication can be easily controlled.
filing system either it can be centralized filing system or decentralized and centralized means all the uh, medical records irrespective of being op records or ip records it will be put together in this and coming together under the same medical records department in decentralized op records will be different uh, and if the patient from op has to be moved to the inpatient department it is given as a loan basis Uh, methods of filing. Uh, you have a vertical filing system where the files are arranged vertically uh, on the spine. One one file like this, one file like this, and it will, all the different files will support each other. But the uh, files are arranged in a vertical pattern. In horizontal uh, system, the medical records are inserted into the folders, and the files are kept on or uh, like stacked upon each other. That is horizontal filing. And suspended filing system. Uh, medical records are suspended from the frames and and drawers and cabinet uh, in different cabinets the way you will find the uh, medical records in micro filming of the micro, uh, medical records it saves money space and it's also, also easily uh, retrievable you will make a film of the medical records and you will just save the as a uh, filming card in computerized medical record uh, it's modern hospital where the hospitals are fully um, computerized and connected to the network it has virtually replaced the manual filing of the system and each of the medical records are password protected etc what all is the protocol followed under the computerization it will be followed in the medical records department retrieval of medical records medical records are retrieved only under the following situation when the patient attends for follow-up uh, file is issued for research work if, if any research work is going uh, is ongoing in the hospital file someone by the court of law in case of any medical legal cases patient is admitted to the inpatient department when the op patient is admitted to the ip department medical records are retrieved for continuity of care and for medical claims pur purposes for uh, reimbursement to insurance and all uh, medical records are used retrieved back physical facility uh, the uh, the location it should be located near the, the inquiry office the main entry of the hospital it should be in close proximity to the opd and emergency department and space requirement admission and inquiry of office uh, 125 to 175 square feet uh, is required for the admission and inquiry office central record office um, two to three square feet is required per bed uh, depending upon how many records you have per bed for each bed two to three square feet is enough uh, for opd record section um, two to three square feet again average of two to three square feet per bed is enough in opd record station uh, staff requirement uh, for a 500 bedded hospital uh, these are the staffing given a medical one medical record officer four medical record technician three plus one pune and one statistician part-time if a, if it is a, a research center, teaching and research center. Um, for uh, additional staff for teaching hospitals, uh, assistant medical officer one, five medical record technicians, uh, four medical record attendant, receptionist five, uh, one assistant medical record officer, eight clerks, eight medical record attendants and one statistician for the central record office. The problems which you are uh, you may encounter uh, in manual uh, rec records maintenance in maintenance of manual record is high volume of data, uh, not enough space to put together all the medical records, Ill uh, illegibility because of the handwriting issues from the clinical staff, non-standardization, lack of file standard format, some some uh, indexing will be done according to the physician's basis, some uh, indexing done on alphabetical basis. So there is no lack of, uh, that there is a lack of standard format, duplication of records, which can be misused if not controlled, delay in retrieving the records when uh, not stored properly, missing records uh, in case of uh, theft or any pilferage, etc. Inability on the part of patients to preserve the medical records. But if the patients lose their medical records during the clinical treatment time. So computer system would help in improving the efficiency, overall efficiency of the hospital, uh, improve the healthcare delivery, uh, because in computerized medical record, everything is standardized. You can't change the standardization. 
we can't go beyond the standard uh, which is already provided in the software quality assurance and quality improvement is done on a regular basis measures the physician and hospital performance uh, you do not have to physically go and check uh, measure the physical physician's performance uh, um, data data will be readily available it can be used as a teaching a teaching a teaching and a trade research tool uh, it will force orderliness and standardization um, while using computerized medical records it increases accountability because each of the records will be password protected it's a manageable tool as uh, along with being a, re a re recording uh, department it becomes a manageable tool thank you